Welcome to Spark Hill. Now this is the area is Mini Azad Kashmir. This is where all the Kashmiri community lives. As you can see from around the area, how many Kashmiri people are shopping around here. That's the beautiful essence about this area. Our success is mainly based on having a good relationship with our customers, the community around us and mainly I think it's our mothers and fathers prayers and blessings with us as well. My name is Irfan and this is my brother Imran and we run the Royal Vatan restaurant together. I run the front house of the restaurant, my younger brother Irfan runs the kitchen of the restaurant, he's the head chef. We're the longest running Balti restaurant in Birmingham at the moment. Dad bought this restaurant in 1984. So he was working in the factory in the daytime, in the evening he was running the restaurant. So I started working here as a weekend job, helping my dad out till about say 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. Uh, I was about 15 years old, just a weekend helping him out. I always had a passion for cooking and when dad seen that he thought I'd be better suited in the kitchen and I was trained by dad. We learned like the whole family secrets rather than just going through the mill of being a chef. The last time I got to that main signature dish. The funny story about this dish is while we were doing the refurbishment in the restaurant, we were always at my mom's house. And then one day my mom had my grandma's uh, dish made. So we're sitting down eating. And I go, what if we add this onto the menu? And as far as like, I don't know, what do you reckon? I go, look, we gotta try it. I reckon this will be a hit. So my mom starts showing me how to make it, etc. So when we launched this dish, Alhamdulillah, if you look on our TripAdvisor and our Google reviews, a lot of people mentioned this dish, the Lhasa Wala Gosht. And the best thing happened last year was that it got mentioned in the Sun newspaper that, and we got named one in the, top, in the top 10 restaurants in the UK. First we'll have fresh onions, fresh garlic, ginger, chilies, tomatoes. We'll simmer them in a pan and we'll put our meat on the bone with the onions and the garlic. We'll add a bit of water in there and let the lamb slowly, slowly cook away and keep the flavors of the lamb within the onions and it's all getting cooked together. And once the onions have disintegrated and they've like become a sauce, then we'll add our spices. We add turmeric powder in the chili powder in there, some of our special herbs and spices from Kashmir, uh, fresh coriander, we'll add some more tomatoes in there to give a flavour. So basically it's not on the ingredients, it's the love, the dedication, the passion we put into the dish, the, the childhood memories, the story, how our dad used to go to work, you know, how we used to come on the weekends to help out. And when you taste this dish, it's like four or five different flavors in your mouth at the same time. And I mean, you end up biting your fingers off, that's how beautiful it is. And even the name of the dish is derived from the name of our village. Our village back in Kashmir is called Lassa, and Vala means from, so it's a Lassa Vala Gosht. The community is a very big help for us as well and being an established restaurant in Birmingham for over 35, 36 years, we've become a part of the community and the community does help us a lot as well. We go three to four times a week to source our, all our ingredients. We'll have to go like to the market, go hand pick them ourselves. Then we go to the meat shops. We use our local meat shops in the sense we don't use the big uh, poultry houses in the sense that you won't get that same quality. On the air trigger, it was amazing. It's just that you have to keep a box of tissues with you all the time. You know, especially when Sultan Abdul Hamid is always, the pressures are always on him. There's a scene in there in uh, when he's building the Hijaz railway and the hammer got the money. The women from India and Pakistan, they sell their bangles and they send like treasures full of money to him. And that shows that, you know, even though the project's taking place in Turkey, the Muslims will always unite for a good cause.
me, Imran, and my dad, we had a tradition that after Juma prayer, we used to always go out to eat together every Friday. And uh, obviously with coronavirus now, everything's on hold and dad's in Kashmir at the moment, but uh, the community did have a lot of uh, integration. Or well, when you go to the local mosque and pray, you do see your local people and you have a little chit chat outside the local mosque and then you just get on with your way. But it's a nice place to bump into each other.